Hey there YouTubers. Today I'm going to show you how to use a program called Rufus. It's a program that allows you to create bootable USB devices. So instead of buying a bunch of DVDs that get scratched or easily broken, you can take your DVD and you can take your favorite disc or whatever you want to whatever image you want to burn and you can make it bootable such as Windows 7, Linux you can do both uh, uh, FAT32 partitions or you can do NTFS partitions and um, uh, like Linux disk will be more of a FAT32 um, the Windows 7 installation or Windows 10 they'll all be like NTFS so go ahead and copy and paste the the link that I put in the description below into this URL up here and it should bring you to this page here and then you're going to scroll down and now you're just going to click on Rufus 2.9 and once you see this pop up go ahead and click save file and then you're in uh, Firefox you're going to have a little blue arrow down here if you're in Explorer or Chrome you're going to have something down here go ahead and click on this cute little blue arrow and you can click the link that when it pops down you just click on the Rufus link <clears throat> and then you should get a pop up here now mind you you um, could have uh, just went like this and you could have right clicked and you could have clicked open containing folder and you could have uh, copied this folder to your desktop or wherever you want but I'm just gonna run it from here and, uh, oops, sorry about that. so I'm gonna click run and you're gonna see there's there's nothing in here but once I take my uh, my my USB device and I put it in now you'll see that it and the reason why it loaded all this here is because it sees that this is a a uh, fat 32 partition um, it has backtrack 5 on it already so if that was a Windows operating system it it probably w would say NTFS but so but you're gonna you're gonna let um, Rufus decide what to do so we're going to do the quick format and then you're going to go here you're going to click this little icon and you're going to pick whatever whatever disk you want to use so I'm going to just make a copy of Windows 7 Enterprise which is right here I'm going to click open and you're going to notice that it changed it to NTFS okay and um now you're just going to click start and it's going to give you this warning you're going to click ok and i'm going to just pause the video but you're going to see this is going to do a lot of uh it's probably going to reformat it it's going to prep prep the disk get it ready for the installation and then when it's done it's just going to say ready here so i'm going to pause the disk for a minute or the video i should say now you'll notice it's saying copying ISO files. All right, as you can see, now, now that it's complete, it says ready. You don't have to go and click start again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, uninstall or take out the USB. And you'll see it clears. Now I'm going to put it back in. And you'll notice that not only does this pop up, to let me see what's in, inside, but you'll also notice it changed what's up here. It, it identifies it now as an NTFS, and um, this is pretty much what the disk was labeled. So if yours was labeled Windows 7 prior to... Um, you know, if you, if you rename the image Windows 7, that's what you're probably going to see up here. 
But that's it. That's as, as easy as that. And all you have to do is uh, shut your computer down uh, and boot from the USB. All right. Hope you uh, enjoyed the video. Thank you.